Hello Year 12 and welcome to our sixth video here on Series and Sequences. Today we're looking at the sum of an arithmetic series. Now, arithmetic series or sequences increase by the same amount each time. Now, I've drawn up here in a table some terms of an AP. So you can see here I have the first three terms and the last three terms. Now, if I look at the first and the last and I add them together, I've got an A and an A plus N minus 1D. Adding those together, I get 2A plus N minus 1D. If I add the second and the second last terms together, I get A plus D plus A plus N minus 2D, which gives me 2A plus N minus 1D, the same as when I added the first and the last terms together. And that's going to continue to be the case for all of those pairs, first and last, second and second last, third and third last, and so on. Now that makes things uh, fairly easy from here on because I will have, I will have, if I have n terms, I'll have half n pairs. And all of those pairs have the same value. So to get the total, adding all of those together, because they're all the same, I can do half n multiplied by the size of each pair, which is 2a plus n minus 1d. So there we go, we've arrived with the formula for the sum to n terms uh, of an AP. Right Similarly, sometimes I won't have A and D, sometimes I will have A and L, where L is the last term. So again, we know that all of our pairs are the same, the first and the last, the second and the second last. So if I have the first and the last, I add them together, Right, that's the same as the 2a plus n minus 1d. We've just arrived at it differently. We could replace that a and the l there with t1 and tn, right, the first and the last term, or the nth term. So I have two formulas now that I could use, depending on whether I have the first term and the common difference, or whether I have the first term and the last or nth term. We can use either of them, depending on what information is available. So, as usual, we have, right, here in summary, those two equations. And we're going to follow that with an example. Here I have an AP, 5, 9, 13, and so on. And we're asked to calculate the sum to 11 terms. In this instance, it's fairly easy to see that the first term, A, is 5. And the common difference is 4. They're increasing by 4 each time. So, given I have the first term and the common difference. I'm going to use the first of those formulas. So half of n, right, n is going to be 11, half of n times 2a, 2 lots of 5, plus n minus 1, or 11 minus 1, times the common difference of 4. Right, that gives me 11 over 2 times 10 plus 40 gives me 275. So that's the sum of the first 11 terms. We could, of course, have calculated the value of t1, t2, t3, t4, t5, and up to t11, and added those together, but it would be a lot more work. Rightio, that's it for the sum of an AP. Not terribly difficult. Those two equations are on your reference sheet, so you don't have to remember them by heart, but it doesn't hurt to be familiar with them and understand how they're arrived at. So, whether I have the first and last terms, well, the first term and the common difference, well, let's get my head down the road here. I could use either of those two formulas. Okay, that's all. Now, in our next video, we're going to look at the sum of a GP or a geometric series. If you've got any questions about APs, make sure that you ask me in class. I'll see you then.